So Yuchin Fama is currently director of product at Clarify. Uh, she's got more than 10 years of experience in machine learning and statistical learning, big data, distributed computing, and large scale production machine learning infrastructure. And she earned her PhD in statistics in 2010 from University of Connecticut and is currently serving as an elected council member of the New England Statistical Society, a nonprofit research organization. And as few as 15% of data scientists today are women, and the lack of diversity is a serious issue. AI algorithms are susceptible to bias, so building them requires a team that includes a wide range of views and experiences. And I wanted to start our little talk today just by asking what you think businesses can do differently to attract and cultivate more diverse AI talent. Well, thank you for inviting me to, to this uh, conversation. And uh, definitely, I'm always interested in AI diversity. And uh, I think we are, in Clarify, we're very fortunate to have a management team that truly cares about diversity. And some of our best researchers, engineers, they're, they're women. And I strongly believe diversity in AI should start early in the talent pipeline, for example, um, business can partner with colleges and universities and even high schools to create this strong pipeline of qualified women professionals in this rapidly growing kind of field of AI. Uh, we should also bring together, you know, young women from academia and government and industry, and then we kind of build this strong network to really facilitate some pro interesting programs such as mentorship, career development, et cetera. So there are a lot of things we can do, but uh, again, I, I kind of strongly can believe, you know, the earlier the better. Okay. Uh, now what's one thing early on, one thing that you wish that you had known when you started, when you began your career? Uh, I'm revealing my age here. <laughs> so when I began my career as a statistician it's a long time ago, the term data scientist wasn't even invented back then. Um, I never thought structure, uh, unstructured data and deep neural network kind of work so well together and really explode to you know today's scale and ubiquitous everywhere. So um, back then I was even like say 2013, 14-ish, I was still very suspicious about the deep neural network and you know, when it became so popular. And um, back then, I could be more open-minded and uh, get my hands on uh, earlier than later. So, yeah. Uh, what is one common myth about your profession uh, that you want to debunk? What do people have wrong about data science? A common myth, many people, at least from what I heard, is they always feel Deep neural network is very complicated. It's very fancy. You need like very, very deep, you know, math like knowledge to do that. But the reality is, it's simple. It's surprisingly, unbelievably simple. So the math is very, very basic linear algebra. Maybe some clever matrix operations. You, you typically, like you know, uh, freshman, sophomore year kind of knowledge on linear algebra is, is sufficient. There's no really not much barrier of entry, especially with our local no code AI platform. You don't even have to think about math behind the scene. You know, it's with our platform, it's even easier for people uh, to, to get on board and start to use and build AI models. What advice would you give someone wanting to pursue a career like yours? Um, I would say learn more about statistics, computer science, and uh, more importantly, keep being curious and try different things outside your comfort zone. What are the best resources that have helped you along your way? I would say all my managers and mentors in the you know past years, and I'm incredibly thankful for all their coaching and nurturing in every step of my career. Finally, what do you what does artificial intelligence mean to you, and how does a person start to think about artificial intelligence as a product that a company makes? I. I love it. I love this question. <laughs> I think many people have different interpretations of AI. Uh, and in general, I think we kind of agree in the community that there's a broader definition of AI is more just general cognitive automation, but there's also more precise definition of AI, which is deep learning. But regardless of definition, I think the desire to create machines that can actually think 
this this desire dates back to even ancient Greek time. It's always just part of that, you know, human curiosity. So we are very proud, you know, clarify, we make our platform, you know, built for everyone. And you don't even need to be a trained data scientist to use it. For us, you know, our AI platform is our product. So to your, I think your question, second question is, how do we think about AI as a product? So for clarify, our AI platform is our product to enable smarter and better solutions for our customers. Um, but I think for our customers, AI is really part of their product DNA. No matter what product they're developing, it's not something nice to have, but it's critical to survive in today's competition. Fantastic. Uh, Yuchun Fama, thank you so much for joining us, and thanks for all the work you do uh, here at Clarify. Thank you. Thank you for having me.